Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So, I just recently watched How to Train a Dragon Hidden, Hidden World. Uh, this is the third uh, installment of a very popular animated uh, franchise. Was it a good send-off? And is it the end of the franchise? Let me go ahead and give you the review. Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about the movie, please hit that subscribe button and support my channel. So I told you guys that um, there was a video before this that uh, there was an accident and I want to continue doing vid movie reviews. And I will also do some uh, bi, bi monthly reports of my debt free journey. Um, I don't know yet if I want to split up, but as of right now, I just want to keep it as. Uh, one channel, but please uh, subscribe if you want to know movie reviews and also join my journey of trying to pay off the debt. So how does my review work? It's actually four categories. It's uh, acting, script, directing, uh, which is basically cinematography, uh, video special effects, and more of a technical and then the x factor of how i felt when i was in in the movie theater and sometimes of course uh, the more people that you watch it with and the more that you might like it so it starts off a few years after the second one the hiccup uh, which is the uh, main character is now the leader or the chief using bert uh, which is the island as a haven for dragon. He has Tootless, which is his companion. And now there's a new uh, dynamic of, uh, it was, uh, it w there was a lot of uh, things going on. Uh, there was a team of love, family, and uh, leadership. So acting wise, because it is a animation, it has to do with the facial expression and also with the voice. Um, all the cast was great. I'm still not sold with the pitchy voice of a Hiccup. I forgot who plays a Hiccup or I mean who voice Hiccup, but just the, you know, <laughs> nasally voice. But the voice was great. And what I like about it is the journey that he had when he was a, in, a kid in the, num the first part and then the second part. And it showed really the growth of the the character and he really played it well he was confident he made mistakes and it, it's refreshing to know that there's a leader uh, that is more uh, less brawny or i mean he he had his moments of you know coolness especially at the very beginning but he used this he used his brain and he became a leader because of that and they respect him for that and that's what i like like about that the acting wise so that's why it really was very believable. And if this is the end of the trilogy, this is the most satisfying trilogy you can ever have, uh, even live action, because of the arc, uh, because of the hero's journey, uh, leadership. And the theme of this movie was great. Uh, family, honor, hiccup. <sighs> had to let go of Toothless, and that was the most poignant and most uh, great message of the movie. Um, the script was very good. It wasn't as good as the first one, but it had more of the emotion. It was more of a salute of uh, saying, hey, this is goodbye, and this is the third one, and uh, it was just a thank you to the fans. Uh, Direction-wise, animation is still great. Uh, there was still, uh, technically, score was great. Uh, it felt like it, there was a lot of action for it. And side note, some of the side characters, uh, comedy-wise, I think it was Jonah Hill was playing one. I forgot his name. Uh, and there was others uh, that you know just played for comic relief. Sometimes it hit, sometimes it didn't. Uh, but the good thing also was uh, just to go back with the acting, the voice, the relationship between uh, Hiccup 
and Toothless was very genuine, and Hiccup and the girlfriend. I forgot her, her name. It just, but their relationship really looked like a real relationship. It, one was leaning, leaning for the other, but the other one was pushing and pushing the leadership, and that's what Hiccup needed. He needed to lean on her, but she also pushed him to lead, and that was the great uh, line for it. The X Factor, I really watched it. It was a full pack theater. Um, I'm not sure how many seats there was, uh, but it, the X Factor it was nice because I had um, the reaction of all the kids and all the moms. Yeah, all the kids. It felt, you know, very strange. But the X Factor is really, it was really great. I really enjoyed this movie because of the audience, because of the relationship. And this is the most underrated trilogy I know. It is. It ended on a good note, but there is also, I'm not going to spoil it, in the ending, there might be an opening to even go beyond that. But if it is, the, if this is the last one, this is a very great one. And I highly encourage you guys to watch it. Uh, watch the first one, the second one, and then watch this one. Or you can go watch this one and then go beyond and just uh, get to know it. It is very entertaining. Um, it has enough for the kids, but it also has enough for the parents so you don't get bored. So with this one, I highly recommend How to Train a Dragon, The Hidden World. Anyway, guys, have you seen the first two? And have you seen the latest uh, How to Train a Dragon? If you did, leave a comment down below. And like always, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And there's going to be videos around here. Keep watching. And please go ahead, uh, just a program note, I will still continue doing uh, kind of like a debt-free journey videos and then movie reviews. If you want me to keep on doing more of entertainment, I will. But as of right now, this is going to be just movie reviews, uh, debt, and then probably commentary of entertainment or any other things. But like, again, please hit that subscribe button and have a nice day. That's a wrap.